me show you. All right, and I was good, y'all. I used almost every single one of these palettes. So I'm gonna put some eye looks to show you, you know, how my eye looks came out. So I did use this um, Cara Beauty Beach Days um, palette. And remember, for this last time that I pulled palettes, it was a theme of rainbow palettes. So I pulled a bunch of rainbow palettes and just got a little bit of use out of them to make some nice um, eye looks. Let's see what else do I have in here. I did use my Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon palette. Y'all, this is so pretty. It just always shocks me with how beautiful this palette is. Because when I first looked at it, I was like, mm, I'm not going to use that. Look at that, y'all. How are you not going to use that? Now, the thing is, here it looks like it's going to be super bright lavender. And then look at it right there. Do y'all see that? This palette is so pretty. So very pretty. And I almost didn't get it. I almost did not get it. Look at this. The pigmentation. This is from ColourPop, y'all. This is pretty. I might pull this back in because this is gorgeous. I'm so happy to have it in my collection. This is such a surprise. All right, my voice is going, so let me hurry up. Truly, madly, deeply. And everybody knows this is an iconic ColourPop palette. I did use this. I think I used this twice. I did like some new glam looks, and they, of course, came out amazing. If you don't have it, you'll still be able to find it somewhere. ColourPop should still have it on their website, I think. But if not, Macari, Poshmark, eBay, you can find it. it might show up in like Marshalls or um, uh, not Ross. Could be Ross. That's not the one I was thinking of. Um, TJ Maxx. All right, Sugar High Palette by Odin's. No, not Odin's. Eye. Menagerie Cosmetics. And this is a, what is this animal called again? I forgot what he's called, but he's like a flying squirrel. Really cute animal. And um, she did like everything in here was just um, centered around this little furry friend. I can't remember what he's called, but so cute. Um, and these are all of the shades that we have with this palette. Another uh, rainbow palette that's in my collection, which is why it's so hard for me to, to choose palettes now because I'm like for real though I have that I have that I have that I have that like I shouldn't really need to buy any palettes oh, what do you want to do when they got new stuff and it looks good like you can't help it and you collect stuff you know The Warrior by Juvia's such a pretty palette this is one of the first palettes not of the nine pan palettes so beautiful that's what's on my eyes y'all it's so pretty these shimmers always shock me every time I use it because sometimes they don't look as shimmery in the pan but on my eyes it's very pretty I like it so definitely holding forward to this and this may show back up because it's neutral and sometimes you need some neutral shades to balance out those colorful looks that you have this is from Cara Beauty this is her professional palette number nine it's called you had me at Aloha nice beautiful eye looks that I got using this palette and I did love using these shimmers I think I was working in the pinks and then down here a little bit in the blues I still have not used this top row at all not at all and maybe not even this back row you know what I might have to come back to this and use some of these darker shades I always am in the pastel so this has a lot to, to use I mean if you think it kind of has some grungy looks over here and there's some pastel some bowls you got your shimmers you got a little sunset look going on right there you can do a lot with this palette you should pick it up it's really good all right, BH um, Cosmetics. Y'all, I lost a, a blush palette. I don't know where it is. I looked high and low. Um, yeah, so I've been pulling all these other blushes, trying to get some put together. So I pulled this one. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's called the Lean Palette, and it's all about the peach here. And this one is my favorite shade right there. Very pretty and a little bit more pigmented than it looks um, on camera. And I do like that. It's very pretty. You can mix these and use them individually. You can kind of ombre look. You get a lot done with this palette. Okay, the Warrior 3 by Juvia's, I think I used this one time, and this has some matte shades that are in that type of rainbow, um, what would you call it, like, like a little rainbow setting, a rainbow, I don't know, it's inspired by the rainbow, that's what it is. Okay, so it's inspired by the rainbow, so you have all the colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, yeah, Gorgie Biz is in there, right, so here's all the shades, and you only have two shimmers, y'all, just two. But I still got some really nice looks out of here. Sometimes I just take colors and layer them. So even though I'm not wearing just orange or just red, I might put my red down and then put some orange on it just to kind of give it some depth. And then you can use your shimmers, you know, different ways to use this palette, but that's kind of how I like to use it. And um, this is so pretty. You should pick it up. This is, yeah, this is just so nice. The Warrior 3. Now this is Juvia's formula. So with Ju Julia's formula, you cannot go wrong at all you can't go wrong so these matte shades they just blend out so nicely and you can mix them together um, you can use them to help blend out a shade so that the lines aren't too harsh and we could do a lot with these you could do a cut crease you could do a lot and then you have your two shimmers right here and when you add some water or some type of fix it spray to it it makes that shimmer pop and so it ends up being brighter on your eyes than it is actually in the palette and I love this so nice all right another rainbow palette I mean, let's look at them side by side, because when I saw it, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, that's kind of like the one I already have. So this is the Zulu palette, and this is the Warrior palette. 
So not exactly the same, but there are some similarities. Those purples, those purples are looking pretty close here. Yeah, those greens. The green in here is more like a greenish blue, whereas this is a true green. So, you know, that is the difference with those, those yellows and oranges. Yeah, they kind of look the same. But I can say that this palette has like a more muted, grungier type of look, where these are more bright and warm. You know, it makes me think tropical when I look at this one. So, yeah. Next, I have the Cara Beauty um, Make a Statement issue number three. This is the magazine. They have three of them. I now have three of them <laughs> in my collection. And this palette is beautiful. There's a mirror on this side, right? So you can either hold it like this or you can hold it up and down like that, however you want to do it. And, um, and there is a bronzer here, which does not look as green. Let's see if I can turn it down because this is looking color, kind of olive. And that's not my skin tone. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Mm, that helped a little bit. But this is, you know, very pretty. I love this color for bronzer. It's very pretty, very warm. And then we have a highlighter. And these shades here are beautiful. I love it. Love it. Had a ball working with these. Now, the formula is not that of you know, Juvia's, and, you know, but Car Beauty has some really nice palettes. Sometimes there are some palettes that are really, like, a hit, and then others are a miss, but I tell you, this one right here was very fun to work with. These colors are pigmented, and that shimmer is really pretty. Is this a glitter? Yeah. But her glitter formula is just very thin, or what's the best word? It's small. Like, you can't even feel it on your finger. It's almost like a foil, and so you don't have, like, loose glitter flying all over the place. It, it stays where you put it for the most part, unless you blend it out. I don't mind her her formula um, that she has for her glitters. So, you might just have to try it one day and see. Now, I would still use the glitter glue, and I would still use a piece of tape to take them off at the end of the day, just out of precaution. But, of course, they're not as chunky. chunky. <laughs> they're not as chunky as some other ones are. All right, that's it. So, these are all the palettes. Would I recommend these? Definitely would recommend this. Definitely. This is so pretty. It just, you see that look on her eyes? That's what you can get using this and of course other looks but this is so pretty so surprisingly pretty okay my honest opinion for these is if you have one you don't really need the other one okay unless you really want that muted grungy kind of rainbow with this then i understand you got full mattes here if this has more shimmers but if that doesn't bother you if it's just more or less the colors i would say pick one you know one of the other i don't think you really need both but they're both pretty the formulas are very um beautiful the bellini palette definitely now i don't know if this will show up on darker skin tones um, I'm pretty, I'm getting there. And I do have to stay towards this end of the palette. The colors are a little bit more saturated and um, pigmented than what is showing on the camera. But yeah, let's see if I can use see. With the mirror, sometimes it shows you a little bit. It's a little bit darker, so. I like this, I recommend this, as long as you're not, you know, mm -hmm. darker than my skin tone, you may have some issues with these shades, okay? Definitely these, any of these pro palettes, that you would like, I say, choose because she does a good job with sticking to themes. And when it got to a panel where you do a whole bunch of um, rainbow palettes, she started doing palettes that focus more on a color story. And so these are really good to try. And I do like the formula in this palette. Um, this definitely must have Juvia's Place palette because of the um, this one being a nude palette, a neutral, a nude glam. You can do that with this palette. It is a very, very nice palette. Okay, Sugar High, definitely, definitely like this one. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at the shimmers. Beautiful shimmers. And then those colors around here are so easy to blend and come out with beautiful looks. Every time I use this, I get such a pretty eye look. Yes, yes, yes. As I try them all. I love these. I had them all. Love to have them in my collection. Definitely not going to declutter them. Now, are they coming back into? <laughs> no, I'm going to switch out and get new palettes. But I'll tell you, I did love these palettes. So much that I didn't even dip over there that much, y'all. Y'all know me. By the end, I'm like, I don't know which palette was in here because I done went back there and picked out. Like, I have the cherries on top because I wanted this red right there. So, I do pull some of the pa other palettes sometimes. But these are all nice. Definitely great in my collection. Glad that I have them. And I suggest that I recommend those palettes to you as well. All right. <laughs> well, okay. We're down in our face type products. So, I had this loose powder that's from... Um, DJ's Boutique. It's too dark for me. I've tried it several times. It is just way too dark. So I'm going to pass this along to my sister. I think she'll be able to use this pretty nicely. I do want to thank DJ's um, Boutique for sending this to me. It was a freebie, uh, but it's just a little bit too dark. All right. I still, y'all, this is like the everlasting bronzer. Like how many, it's been two years and I'm still trying to get to the end of this. 
So I have more pan. I will say this is, so what I've tried to do is to swirl on the outside and set it in the middle. Yeah, it's taken a long time. And you know how you just want to try something new. So that's what I've been doing. And that's probably another reason why it still looks like this. Because I'm just like, okay, I know this works. This is beautiful. I want to try something else. All right, so it's here. We're still working on, you know, making it pan it. But yeah, we're getting there. All right, so I had this Black, Radi um, Black Radiance Artesian Color Baked Blush in the shade Rich Peach. Y'all know this ain't going nowhere. This is so pretty. It is like a mixture of coral and peach and pink. And it is so pretty on your skin. It is beautiful. And I really like this. This is looking like some of those cream blushes that are hitting the, um, the market right now. It's so pretty. A little goes a very long way. I warned you. A little bit goes a long way. All right, the Perfusion Full Bloom Hibiscus Cream Blush is here, and I do like this as well. It's very pretty, and I do think of hibiscus flowers with this uh, shade, and it's so creamy. It's pretty, and you know, this one you can build up. This one is not like the other one. You can build it up. So you see it has more pink in it, and you can build it up and get it, you know, you want to see some more of that orangey type tone to it, so this one you can build up it's not as pigmented now on my hand but i'm saying oh you see it right there see right there it's just how my hand was turned so yeah it's a pretty color all right i'm gonna keep this in here those are like summer colors so i'm gonna use them in the summer all right this one i'm gonna return because i, I haven't really used it this is pretty this is also from shop miss a this is called so close um the name and everything is gone it was on here i think it's lumi not for sure but um you can get this in shop miss a and this has some darker you know reddish burgundy tones to it so i'm gonna take this out and wait to use it as we get into fall stuff like that all right i have a highlighter here called halo shop miss a i didn't really use this this is a pink and a gold so i'm gonna hold on to this and see how this looks i think i've used it once or twice it's really pretty we'll go along with some of those peachy type um blushes that i have so yeah i'm gonna keep this in here okay and i have two clean um, dewy highlighter is one of them I'm wearing today. Today I am wearing Dream. This one right here. And it's so pretty. Put it on my nose, around my eye here, um, up here. Anywhere you see highlighter, this is on there. And it's so pretty. Look at how it changes colors. It goes from an orange to a gold. I'm trying to get y'all to see the pink. Oh, there it is. There's the pink that's in it. Yeah, this is a really pretty 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 um cream highlighter and then this one is more pinky purple and this one is called wink so you had dream and wink and i'm gonna take these out and let some other highlighters you know take turns i have a lot of highlighters okay so i'm gonna put these I'm putting back the butter bronzer of course we're putting back the artesian rich peach and we're gonna keep the love lust halo highlighter so Okay, that's leaving space. Oh, Perfusion Hibiscus. We're gonna keep that in as well. Okay, everything else I'm gonna return. And then my last four are highlighters. And these, y'all, I tell you, I don't know why. <laughs> I just, I like this. I got this in, I believe, Boxy Charm. These are some um, very shimmery um, eyeshadows. And they're really, really pretty. And these pans can be taken out and put in um, a metallic, I'm sorry, a magnetic case, along with your other eyeshadows from different brands. And they are so pretty, look at that. And I haven't used this the whole time it was in here. Let me show you one more. This is why I, I, I need to do this type of thing because it don't make no sense. I should have, I should have, like, been all in this because these are amazing. Cosmic Drip. This is from Fashion Nova, I believe, the Fashion Nova brand. And this palette is called Stargate. And that's on the back right here. So I got this other shade just to show you all. And look at that. And I haven't used it yet. I don't, I'm sorry. I was just admiring how pretty it was. And I hear fireworks in the background. So, y'all, I'm going to thank God that my little poochie poo has calmed down. Because the first couple of days, I thought we was going to have to be locked in the bathroom the whole time. Because, you know, from now until, like, two weeks. Because, you know, people are still shooting up fireworks. And I tell you, he's been really good today. So, I'm so grateful. He was going through it. All right. So, I have these. I'm going to keep this in. I didn't use it. And, okay. And then I had the highlighter from Julia's. And what I'm going to decide to see what else they have. But I have a feeling I'm just going to keep this in. Because it's very pretty. This is highlighter. It's really pretty. Shimmery. But pretty. I like it. And it's not like overbearing. Can you see it? Look at that way. Yeah. It's not overbearing at all. See how you get it as your, as the light hits it? So, you know, you're not going to look like you're trying to signal to the, the, the space station. So, I like that. But we're going to take that out. And I really like this though. This is really pretty. Very, very pretty. This one is called the Royalty 2 by Julius. Okay. Um, I have some banana 
powder, setting powder. This is from Bella Pierre. And this is another just banana powder that's a generic brand. I pretty much just have been using it. So I'm going to put it to the side because I think I have some other ones I want to try. All right. And is that everything? Y'all, I put Kermit the Frog in there and never used it. <laughs> I think when I look at that, I think Christmas. Okay, that's it. Well, guys, that is it for this part of the Shop My Stash. I just wanted to get that part done um, so that I can move on to the part two. And I don't know what the theme is going to be. I'm not sure. But I will let you know because I want this to come up like soon because I got other videos that God has given me some ideas and I'm like writing them down and I'm like, yes, let's go try some of these ideas, but not with the stuff that y'all already saw. All right. So that's it. I will see that you all enjoy your day, whatever it is, wherever you are, that's good. Don't forget to pray because we really need it. And then don't forget to pray. All right.